Well, here where I'm sitting in the Bradford district, and Michelle, and across the north, it's always meant to me that young people growing up in communities here and like the one you grew up in Hull, have the same opportunities as people down south. And recent stats from the ONS showed that at 25, wherever you live in the country, if you're on free school meals, you're likely to be earning significantly less than your better off peers. But it also showed that the level that you get in the northern regions is significantly lower for, with that gap in place for those from those disadvantaged backgrounds and for everyone else. They would be if they lived anywhere else because wage levels here are just so much lower. So we've got to drive up wages by getting more high skilled employment so that you genuinely can stay here and get on rather than having to get on a bike and go to London, as I'm sure Lord Tevitt would have told us to do. So I think it's pretty simple, actually, Michelle. Young people here want the same opportunities. And that's why closing down the opportunities area, not replacing it, slashing the shared prosperity fund. There's been some bad news today, if I'm honest, despite what is itself in the white paper a brilliant effort from Michael Gove and Neil O'Brien. But at the last fiscal event, at the spending review and the, the budgets before it, decisions were made by Rishi Sunak and the Prime Minister that set us on a course that they were always going to spend less on regional development than the previous Cameron or May governments. They haven't made good on those promises during the Brexit referendum to protect those areas like the Tees Valley in the North East by protecting the funds they always used to get from Europe. And by slashing those European funds, not replacing them the way people like Priti Patel and Jacob Rees-Mogg promised, I'm afraid that today is a day about breaking promises to Brexit voters, not what it should have been, celebrating a devolution revolution, which should see uh, more powers to places like where you grew up in Hull and East Yorkshire, an elected mayor for York and North Yorkshire, the extension of the North East devolution deal, all positive things, but overshadowed by there not being enough money to back it all up.